So over the night, I got attacked hard on Boom Beach, and I thought there's no better time to go through and have a look at some of the raids on the base. So at the moment, my base is uh, still the same as it has been. Uh, it is my Call of the Tree base or the Nottingham Forest base, whatever you want me, to, whatever to call it. Uh, but it's you know it's an, a base that so far has worked okay, and I want to show you uh, the last load of attacks. So this is all last night, by the way. These six here are all last night. Uh, we defended four and we lost two. So what we're going to do is watch these top four ones uh, and see how they go. And you can see like I was just attacked so much, uh, and then I got attacked yesterday as well, where I lost one and won two. So the base works relatively well. You know, a fifty percent ratio, uh, fifty percent win ratio is pretty good in my eyes. Um, but yeah, so let's jump in and have a look. So this was the first um, raid, the, not the first raid, this is the first raid we're going to look at. And we won it, he used the um, heavy Zooka tactic, which is obviously um, a very common, easy going tactic that wins on most bases. And from this, I want to be able to see, uh, you know, how we can make the base better, what we can do, etc, etc, etc. But anyway, guys, before we start this, I want to say, hi, my name is Master Of. I didn't actually do that before, uh, which is annoying. Uh, I should have done it, but I completely forgot to do it. Um, also, there may have just been a massive lag in the video. If there was, I apologize. My computer just did something absolutely stupid. Um, but also, thank you for the support in the last video. It was pretty amazing to, uh, to see you guys like, comment, view, etc. Uh, and let's keep it up. We're nearly on 50,000. So if you guys don't usually like my videos, please like it. It would make a world of difference if you liked it. Uh, yeah. Anyway, now on to the gameplay. Enough of me babbling on about uh, about growth and thanking you guys. Because you guys know I thank you. Uh, so he used um, pretty much... I think he used three... three um, did he use, I think he used three lots of heavies and three lots of Zookas. I didn't actually watch them come on the beach. And then he does what most of them do, to be honest, is go for the flank. Now, I tried to design this so that the flank doesn't work, like, amazingly. It does work to a degree, but it doesn't work like, you know, some, play, some bases you go around the back and you're just there. Whereas this one, I thought I had a little bit more defense, which I think it has proven it has done. Uh, but I still think, you know, the flanking is too obvious. So, I don't quite know whether I should push everything further back. Like, these defenses here... Uh, you see these defenses like uh, at the front. They haven't even been touched, and maybe they could do with going further back. But anyway, he comes in now. He's got a few heavies left. He's probably thinking, "Oh shit, yeah, I'm not going to win this one." Uh, but he takes down the heavies, and luckily the boom cannon's got enough range to take those lot out. They try and retreat and get killed. So that was okay. Again, uh, it shows the flank is maybe a little bit weak and could be upgraded, which I'll have a look into. Now, he is attacked the next time, you can see here, and he has um, he has won. So I'm guessing he's done the exact same tactic, but he has uh, destroyed both the boom cannons, I want to say, or something. Um, but you, you know what they're using, what like technique they're using by what they take out first. So he goes for the rocket launcher, uh, because obviously the rocket launcher pretty much destroys everything in its wake. Uh, that isn't a tank or a heavy. So if you know his his bazookas got into them, he, they would just die. Um, he does a really weird starting attack. I mean, he's wasted a lot there. He could have done a lot better, but anyway, so he's gone for the exact same thing, going to attack from this side, and then he starts taking out the boom cannon there, uh, and they run away yet again. <laughs> they seem to be doing this pattern of running over there and coming back in, and now he's got a nice wall. That's a pretty pretty looking attack there. So he's got the wall of uh, heavies and then he had his Zookas behind him. So I'm guessing he's going to push them all the way up to this corner up here and the Zookas are just going to be in range which is going to be what he wanted. Let's just have a look at this. So they're all, yeah, they all go for the boom cannon. The boom cannon gets taken down and then he's got a couple of girls at the top here that take the rest of this base down uh, and he does it for a minute. Wow, okay, this takes quite a long time to destroy it though but he just just gets it so that's kind of annoying because it shows again the flank is slightly weak as I said before and he has been able to get around it let's watch this one so this is by S stone uh, and this is using heavies zookas and a few medics so pretty much the same as what the other guy was using except he's thrown in some medics um, which is obviously a game changer so again goes for that rocket launcher in the middle and the boom cannon, which is pretty good. He takes them both out quite nicely. And again, I think he's going to go for the flank around the left. I'm not 100% sure yet. I haven't watched any of these back, by the way, guys. This is the first time I've watched it as well. So he keeps on healing up those heavies uh, with the healers, which obviously saves him quite a lot. Whoa! Okay, they got healed up as well. You see, it's stuff like that where the healers come in really handy. I haven't even got healers yet, but I'm looking forward to the day where I'll get them. 
So, again, okay, yeah, he, I was going to say he doesn't go for that, but he has gone for the slightly flanking idea. Uh, he is going in from this side, and he's more going, he's going more direct. I have more respect for this one because he has, he has pretty much gone uh, from the bottom and uh, straight up to the top, which is quite cool. Uh, and then again, he regroups everybody to the left to make sure they don't stray too far to the right. And now he's taking out those two boom cannons. Uh, he can pretty much destroy this stuff, and it's done. So there we go. That's the difference that the healers have done to my base. And he's been able to destroy it because, obviously, he has the healers. And the healers have helped him an absolute ton. Okay, so let's have a look at this final raid. So, he deployed tanks and healers, uh, and we won this one. So, it's quite a quick raid. So, he goes again. I guess he's taking out the boom cannons because, obviously, he's using tanks, which are, obviously, a boom cannon's worst friend. So, we go. That's that taken down. Let's see. Where does he spawn everybody? So, he spawns everybody around the side. So, he's going for a flanking as well. Uh, he takes out the machine gun, as most people do, is the most common and best thing probably to do. And then he goes kind of into the center. All right. So, it looks like... Okay, no. He's going for... I was going to say he's going straight up, but he's gone for the flank as well. So they're going around the side, which is, oh, here comes the RPG, or the rockets, and he's going all the way up to the top, and brings them, what? What? He brought them back and then just ran away. <laughs> I have no idea what was the point in that. I don't think, he didn't even lose anybody. Well, that was absolutely pointless. Okay, so from this, we figured out that the flank is definitely the thing that people are doing the most, uh, and with that being said and done, I'm actually going to throw down... Uh, a couple of extra stuff at the back here just to change it up a little bit Nobody seems to be going for this right hand side flank, which is very interesting to me I don't know why so I'm gonna keep it like that on that side, but on this side. I'm going to move stuff up and uh, Change this round so we're starting to lose the uh, the f the not the uh, the shape of the base a little bit but with that being said and done, hopefully this will be a little bit more deterring for them and they won't want to attack it. So on this side, I'm going to put this extra sniper rifle just to scare people again. And there we go. So you'll have noticed that I haven't been attacked by warriors recently at all. I think that's because of the design of this bit. Uh, you start off, obviously you've got the flamethrower, which usually catches a couple of warriors. Then we've got mines. We've got mines. We've got mines. We've got literally so many mines here. And even if they come up uh, to the side here... They've still got so many mines they have to come through, and warriors do not seem to attack me. So, so far this base is working really well for me. It's got a couple of little tweaks uh, that I'm obviously making to it now, but hopefully it will work better. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you like the base, make sure you comment down below. Uh, any updates that I need to do, make sure you tell me, and I'd like to know what uh, defense strategies you use. What do you call your bases? And if you have any bases, make sure you post them to me on Twitter so I can have a look, and I can maybe uh, copy some really cool, funky bases. But until the next episode, guys... I am going to attack one guy for us in this video. I've just realized that I pretty much have full army troops. So let's go and have a look at this guy. And we're just going to run everybody in. Okay. I was going to end the episode right there. I'm not going to lie. I was going to end it. That's why I was doing my kind of outro speech. Uh, but I decided let's go attack one person. I hate doing videos without attacking, without raiding, etc. So I thought you guys deserve it for sitting through here and being so nice to me. You deserve it. And here we go. So hopefully we should take this one out without any issues, to be totally honest. This should be okay. Uh, we might not even lose one person. Unless this cannon... No! Oh my god, I think we just defended ourselves from the cannon. Uh, depends. Oh, we've lost a couple of people, I think. The machine guns are actually quite high level, which is surprising. I didn't expect them to be that high level. But they have uh, killed a couple of our guys. But it doesn't seem too bad. We've taken the base down pretty easy. And got the extra loot. We actually lost quite a few people there. There's a lot more people than I expected. Uh, they must have been high level machine guns. So there we go guys. There is a raid to end on. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, but until the next video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. And maybe. I'm saying maybe. Um, by the end of this week, so by Saturday, I'll have 50,000 subscribers, which means another $100 spending spree and also another giveaway for you guys. It's been awesome. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, etc. and everything. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.